And so, just give you a few examples of what they would do. Where is the largest beneficial energy line running within the sacred power spot? That's going to be the central axis of the building. Then where are the different energy lines coming in? And where the majority of beneficial energy lines are crossing together, whenever energy lines cross together, they create a vortex. And if it's a beneficial energy, then it's a beneficial BG3 vortex. And so that's going to be where they place the altar. So they're actually using the Earth's own energy lines to pattern out everything for the temple. Because the temple has to operate like an organ in a living body. The building has to rise up out of the Earth's energy field like a living thing. So that's what we have here. Now, again, that was for all the different sacred sites of every great tradition. So Feng Shui, Vastu Vidya, the Egyptian temple science, all based on similar concepts. But of course, that's when the energies are beneficial. 